Hi, I'm Rob Streeter. I'm a fly fishing author, and this is another video in our series on steelhead flies. This one's kind of interesting. This is a Jimmy Kelso fly that he called the center pin envy, and basically it combines a wet fly and a trout bead. So here's how we tie it. If you like these videos, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. It really helps out. I've enjoyed hearing from people and uh, interacting, so I'd like to keep that up. And the channel keeps growing, which is great. So thanks for watching. Here's how we tie Jimmy's center pin Envy. So we've got a wide gap. This is a number eight. This is a little big. He ties them number 10 and smaller. But this will give you the idea. This is a wide gap scud hook. So we're just going to run the thread onto the hook, get a layer of thread all the way back, trim that, okay, so I've already gone ahead and got the bead, so the bead's tied on, so what I'm going to do Get my bead situated. So I do this. This might be a little bit different than the way he does it, but I like to double back on that mono. I think it makes it a little stronger and you're not going to lose the bead so easily. I'm just going to trim that. Now the body is really simple. So this one is just another bobbin with a thick orange thread. I'm going to tie that in. that tied down good. Trim it. Just bring that forward. So I'm now just going to use this other bobbin and I'm going to put down a thread body. to there. A couple wraps. I'm going to trim my orange thread. And it's going to get kind of a webby hen neck saddle hackle. And we'll get that ready. That tied in with a couple wraps, trim the stem. So we're going to go around once, and twice with that, and we'll tie it down.
and we'll put a whip finish. So you don't use a lot of hackle. You have to go crazy with it. But that is the basic fly. We'll get some glue on it. And there it is. Jimmy Kelso, Centerpin Envy.